It is the new year. Happy new year. Today is actually January 1st. My book room is actually a disaster. It's been a disaster for a little bit now. I filmed my end of the year wrap up. I filmed book haul. So there's books all over the floor. There's books all over my desk. There's also a whole bunch of just crap all over my desk. So I'm thinking for the new year, we kind of not only reorganize the bookshelves, but kind of just reorganize this whole room, decorate it a little bit, freshen it up for the new year. I think that's, I think that's what we need to do. Okay, I think we should start with the bookshelves. This small shelf and this big shelf are my fantasy shelves. And then these two are my romance shelves. And then this one is just like everything else. I like to do like series that I have or like my favorite series on these skinny shelves. I think our first step is going to be organizing piles of each genre. So I even know what I'm doing. closely or you'll see me sweating <laughs> now before you ask where the fifth bookshelf went i didn't throw it away or get rid of it i'm not an idiot okay i just put it in my other room have a whole bunch of stuff that i can put on it it's actually probably more useful being used in my other room the amount of books that i have probably won't even fill up these four so i'll put the fifth one in the other room and then when the time comes that i need it i can obviously bring it back in it was just feeling really crowded right here and i wanted to push these against the wall i feel like this looks really nice though i know there's like gaps in between the shelves i don't have the tools or the knowledge of how to even fix that i'm not doing that okay let's just be real i'm not gonna do that <laughs> now Let's start organizing. We'll start with the romance shelves, these two. So I'm not sure what exactly I wanna do. I think I almost just tripped and fell all over all of the books. I think I'm gonna do like my little book series shelf first because I feel like that's the easiest. We do have a Lauren Asher shelf. This is my Lauren Asher shelf. That's not gonna stay up. E so I need to find my Dreamland Billionaire series and then that love redesign book that she just came out with is somewhere around here. I'm gonna put that on the shelf. Now we need to do our Chestnut Spring shelf. And when I went to visit family for Christmas, I found these cowgirl boots that were mine. Look how small they are. They're like the size of my hand. And they're so cute. So they're gonna go on, on this shelf. I feel like it's only appropriate. And of course, our disco ball with the cowboy hat. This is my Magnolia Park shelf. I can't find Daisy Hates, the grade I'm doing. I don't know where it is. It's definitely somewhere in here. Just don't know where. Once we find it, we'll put it on the shelf. I got these at, I got these at Target. If you know, you know. It's symbolism, okay. Back in the garden, we're getting high now. 
see what I'm yaying about. Yay! I finished putting all of my romance up on the shelf. I'll do a little overview of all the shelves once I'm fully done. We have some of my favorite series over here. All of this is romance except for this shelf down here. This is just my nonfiction and then my mystery slash thriller books. But we're, we're not done yet. We still have the other half. We still have the fantasy side. This is our fantasy series shelf. I guess let's figure out what books we want to put on here. I usually do like a Akatar shelf and there's not enough room for all of the books. So I'm probably gonna do like an Akatar shelf that kind of like also comes over to one of these. We have to do a fourth wing shelf. And then we'll do a Once Upon a Broken Heart shelf. We're also gonna do like a whole Grey Sugar shelf with like Shadow and Bone series and Six of Crows. We can do a Twilight shelf, right? Right here. I have to display my special editions. perfect sense on this shelf. This is my best idea. Okay, we'll wait to put it up, but that's such a good idea. I'm so smart. so good actually i'm really happy with how they turned out i'll do like a full overview once i'm finished with the whole room i think i'm gonna move the chair is that cute the wall's looking a little bare we'll work on that it's cute i like it <laughs>
so it's the next day but before we do the final reveal okay every pet has to come in the frame too before we do the final reveal we have to set up the book cart, obviously. What I'm planning on doing is making the bottom shelf the books that I want to unhaul because there are some books that I want to get rid of, ones that I just know I won't read or ones that I have double of because that has happened. And then these two are probably just going to be my like immediate TBR. We have our unhaul pile. These are the books I'm getting rid of. If any of them interest you, most of them are going to be on Pango. First one. I have two of these. I'm not just getting rid of my Iron Flame. I'm getting rid of this one because I bought a signed edition on Black Friday, so I don't need two. The House on Trad Street, my mom gave me this book when I first started reading and I actually did read it. I'm just not a big fan of historical fiction. Mother Knows Best, I got this um, forever ago and I honestly just don't see myself reading it. Emergency Contact, this is another book that has been on my shelf for years and I've never read it. So she did get me into reading, but I'm not really interested in continuing. The Deal by L. Kennedy. I don't think I'm ever going to read this series, honestly. I accidentally bought two of these. I don't even really know how I did that, but and then my regular edition of Crescent City because I got the special editions. It's actually kind of pains me to get rid of them, even though I already know I'm probably not going to read any of them. Alright, the time has finally come. We have finished our reorganized, revamped book room and it is time to give you the full room tour. So we'll start right over by the door. I didn't really change too much stuff on the walls. This little bulletin board is like a bunch of memorable stuff. And then this little sign my mom got me for my birthday. And then obviously my One Direction poster that I found. This cone right here is actually from my high school and I took it and painted it. So if you hear any annoying sounds, it's just him. So this is my little desk area. So we have this floor lamp. This is my little headphone stand, which they aren't right here right now, but, and then I have different markers and pens in here. I got this little stand for my desktop because it's just very useful. I have a little coaster here. We have my hard drive. The keyboard can be slid like underneath and then we have the matching blue mouse pad it matches my computer perfectly <laughs> and then my laptop and ipad are right here so i just like how i can keep everything in the same area and then i put some of my skin keys out because they're cute and then i need to figure out like what i want to put on the wall right here because it's kind of there's nothing there but i don't know what i want to do so on this side i still just have this thing Honestly, I didn't feel like taking it down and figuring out how to put it back up, so we just left it. These are drawers. These are all my tabs. I have my little cowgirl boot vase. I just put it up here. Then we have just a cute little plant and my phalanx mirror. It is, it is so sunny right now. This is my little reading area. I just have some prints on the walls. These two are from the Callaway Sisters slash Addicted series. And then these four little prints I had on this wall and I just moved them along with the mirror. And then this shelf has some of my Addicted Callaway books on it. And then this is my Twisted series. And I put a butterfly teacup on top because I feel like it matches perfectly with Twisted Lies. And then this is my book cart. I'm not going to do a huge overview of everything because I feel like that's kind of unnecessary. The top two are books that are on my TBR and then the bottom one is everything that I need to list on Pango. There's also usually a pillow on this chair but I needed to wash it. And then the bookshelves which look literally amazing. I'm so happy with how they turned out. The bottom shelves where there's not much of anything I just have some bins with stuff in them because because figured it's a good use of space. And then this is my series shelf for my romance. Down here, we just put some nonfiction and then all of my thrillers and mysteries because I don't have that many. And then this is something that I picked up from a thrift shop. 
Then we have some more romance right here. This is more of like my more adult romance that has a lot of spicy in it. Then we have this shelf, which is kind of like my summery shelf that I used to have. I painted this little Hello Kitty. If you watched my Christmas video, I painted these with my sister. I thought she looked so cute right there. I just have authors together like Abby Jimenez, Lucy Score, Jenny Han, Kale Walther, Lynn Painter, Emily Henry. I just have all of them like together. Then this is my dark romance shelf. She's getting kind of full, <laughs> not gonna lie, but she looks good. She looks really good. And then up here is more of just YA romance. Not every book up here is YA romance by any means, but most of them. And then I love in other words, special edition. And then this is my fantasy special shelf. Up there is just literary fiction because I only have one shelf for that, so I figured I would just put it up here. And then this is like my colorful fantasy books. This is my little Akatar shelf. Obviously, it goes over to this one. And then this is like my darker shelf. I did like a lighter colored books fantasy shelf and then a black and dark color book fantasy shelf. And this is just what couldn't fit. That is my bookshelf a reorganization video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was so fun to do and a lot of work. But we're not gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about how amazing it turned out. I'm so happy with how this all looks. I feel like this is a great way to start the new year with a new little book set up, a new place to read. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Peace.